I'm going to rename the snare track. Let's call it the snare riser. Now let's look for some noise risers in the loops library. Type in noise. That one's interesting. It has that rhythmic movement to it. Let's add it to the same section where the snare roll is. I think that works out pretty well. We can play around with some of the smart controls. Give it some reverb. Let's solo and listen to it. More reverb. Nice. Now let's layer this with the synth riser. We are specifically looking for a monophonic sound that has control for glide time. Most of the presets don't have that parameter, as you can see in the smart controls. But I looked through all these presets and found one. You can see here we have glide time control. So let's set up a region, starting at measure 5. I'll add in a really low note. Move it down. And immediately after, a high note. Let's have a listen. Now the glide time needs to be much longer. I'll bump it up to the maximum. And I'll also extend that high note right till the end of the intro section. So the note should gradually glide up to the very end. That's what we're looking for. You can play with some of the other controls of the synth. Now we can further exaggerate this effect by adding some pitch bend. The default range of pitch bend in GarageBand is only two semitones either side. But that's okay, even that much should help us. Click here to open up the MIDI draw, and in this list we can select pitch bend. Very similar to automation, we can now draw in the pitch bend. Of course, if you have a MIDI controller, you could have even recorded this data in. Let's hear this. Not bad. I feel we can go an octave higher. So I'll move that high note up an octave. Option shift up arrow key. That's much better. Let's hear it in context. Cool. Now I want to work on that noise sweep a bit more. I'll cut the second half and bring it in right before the region. Let's hear that. We could filter it further with the EQ. I'll turn on the high cut here. And let's automate that cutoff frequency. 
maybe go for a higher slope as well. Some resonance will exaggerate the filter cutoff modulation. Back in the automation lane, let's look for high cut frequency. There it is. Let's draw in the automation. You don't want to cut too much. Towards the end, the filter can open up completely. Yes, I think that should work. Alright, so that's our intro section. Next, we'll move on to the main chorus slash drop of this tune. 